Good afternoon, everyone. Let us start. Today, we shall discuss about distribution of precipitation in the world. Now, let me present my screen. So this is the last part of chapter 11, Water in the Atmosphere of your NCERT textbook, Fundamentals of Physical Geography. Now let us read. Different places on the Earth's surface receive different amounts of rainfall in a year, and that too in different seasons. In some part of the world, in a particular season, rainfall is received. For example, in the Mediterranean region, uh, generally we find rainfall in the winter season. Whereas in the other places like India, uh, we receive rainfall in the, in the summer season. So in this way, uh, this amount of rainfall is also different uh, from season to season, as well as from one place to another place of the earth surface. In general, as we proceed from equator towards the poles, rain, rainfall goes on decreasing steadily. Okay, in general, as we proceed from equator towards the poles, rainfall gets uh, on, uh, sorry, goes on decreasing steadily. So generally we find uh, highest amount of rainfall, okay. Uh, along the equator, see here, uh, the, here we have uh, this equator and along the equator we find uh, this highest amount of rainfall and it, as we move away from equator towards the pole the amount of rainfall is decreased and towards the south pole also the amount of rainfall is decreased. See here in this map these lines are known as isohiates. Okay, see here. Isohiates means uh, is a line uh, joining places having equal rainfall. Okay, and see here uh, as you move away from equator towards the pole, the amount of rainfall is decrease or precipitation decrease. See here in the polar area okay here we find 25 centimeters of rainfall and along the equator we find a rainfall between 250 to uh, 300 centimeters in the year okay so in this way uh, as we proceed from the equator towards the pole rainfall goes on decreasing the coastal areas of the world receive greater amount of rainfall than the interior uh, continents. Okay, see generally coastal areas are affected by the uh, these uh, seas. Okay, so places located nearby the coast, okay, are uh, have, are experiencing these onshore winds, and hence we have a rainfall. Uh, okay, see here, uh, this is continental interior. So in the continental interior here, the amount of rainfall is very low, 50 centimeters, for example. Uh, whereas uh, nearby the uh, these coastal areas, okay, so it is around 100 in some places. Or sometimes here in other places, okay, uh, we find even 250 also. And the rainfall is more over the oceans uh, than on the land masses of the world because of being great source of water. We know that uh, oceans are the uh, great source of water vapor. And that is why we find more rainfall uh, in the oceans, okay, over the oceans as compared to the uh, these uh, land masses. Okay, see here. Here also, if you see, 
uh, this I show here. Okay, uh, here, here also in the southern hemisphere also here hundred centimeters, hundred centimeters. Whereas over the continent, central part of Australia, it is only ten centimeter. Okay, and likewise here also, as I pointed out earlier, it is only about twenty-five or fifty over the continents, but it is around two hundred fifty, hundred. Okay and so on over the oceans because oceans are great source of water vapor and between the latitude 35 degree north and 45 uh, degree north and the south okay between latitude 35 and 40 degree north and the south of the equator the rainfall is heavier uh, towards the uh, west coast why between latitude 35 and 40 degree north and the south of equator rainfall is heavier on the eastern coast and goes on decreasing towards the west as see it is uh, because of the uh, trade wind see we have to uh, remember this diagram okay see here uh, here uh, this is uh, here this is 30 degree north and this is 30 degree south okay and here between these areas we find uh, these trade winds okay this is northeast trade wind and this is uh, southeast trade winds and these trade winds okay so these trade winds uh, here okay these trade wind uh, this heat the eastern coast of the continents here okay and here also the eastern coast of the continents are affected by the trade winds and that is why uh, we uh, we find heavier uh, rainfall on the east, east coast and the amount of rainfall goes on decreasing okay see here in this uh, place for example we find uh, this rainfall around 100 centimeters to 250 and the amount of rainfall decreases as you move towards the west. So, for example, here it is a 10. Okay. So, that is mainly because of the uh, these threat winds. Okay. And, uh, but between 45 degree uh, and uh, 65 degree north and the south equator due to westerlies, the amount of rainfall uh, the rainfall is first received on the western margin of the continents and goes on decreasing towards the east. So between 45 and the 65, okay, so we have uh, these westerlies. Okay, 60 degree north is here and uh, 60 degree south is here. So between these uh, 30 and the 60, okay, uh, we have the westerlies, the westerly winds and because of these westerly winds uh, here in this case so generally we find more rainfall on the west coast so this is the west coast of the continent for example this is the west coast of the continent and here also we have the west coast of the continent here the amount of rainfall is 250 centimeters okay and here this is the west coast of the continent so between uh, this uh, 45 and 65 north and the south of uh, equator because of these westerlies okay because of these westerlies wind that is planetary wind the amount of rainfall is heavy on the west coast of the continent and the rainfall goes on decreasing towards the east and wherever mountains run parallel to the coast the rainfall is heavier on the coastal plain and on the windward side and it decreases toward the leeward side about this we have uh, discussed uh, yesterday also okay so in this case just a reminded diagram say this is a coastal area and uh, this is a high mountain okay and uh, here let us say this is the sea and uh, from the sea rain bearing wind is forced to rise up the slope of the mountain it is expanded 
and cool down and because of that clouds are formed and here we have heavy rainfall on the windward side and as the wind passes the mountain then it is heated because of the adiabatic heating and hence on this side of the mountain which is known as leeward side get little rainfall so that is the point mentioned here okay uh, wherever mountain run parallel to the coast, rain is greater on the coastal plain that is on the windward side and it decreases towards the leeward side okay see here this is the leeward and this is the uh, windward side so in this way the amount rainfall is uh, uh, different okay due to the relief also are you clear? Do you have questions? No, sir. Okay, then let us proceed. So on the basis of amount of uh, this annual precipitation, major precipitation regimes of the world are identified as follows. Okay. Uh, precipitation regime means uh, this division of the walls, okay, into these uh, different categories like over 200 centimeters per year between 100 and 200 centimeters per year like that so this is what we call uh, these uh, precipitation regimes okay so let us read the equatorial belt the windward slope uh, of the mountains along the western coast in the cool temperate zone and uh, the coastal areas of the monsoon land receive heavy rainfall over 200 centimeters per annum okay equatorial belt windward sl slopes of the mountains then western coast in the cool temperate zone where it is affected by the westerlies and the coastal areas of the monsoon uh, region receive very heavy amount of rainfall over 200 centimeters are par in them okay so here we have another map also and here these are the precipitation regimes okay so the first one is over 200 centimeters and I see the color cut okay see here west coast of india for example india is experiencing monsoon and west coast of india then west coast of uh, this Myanmar, Thailand and this equator region okay here equatorial regions okay and here also equatorial and these uh, equator regions Amazon so all these areas uh, receive very heavy amount of rainfall over 200 uh, centimeters so this is the first regime and after that we have interior continental areas okay receive moderate rainfall interior part of continent receive moderate rainfall varying from 100 and 200 centimeters uh, per year so the next regime is okay here the regime is somewhat different but ignore it actually here continental interiors here okay here and here in case of India also here okay and uh, these continental interiors uh, receive uh, this moderate amount of rainfall that is uh, according to our book 100 to 200 per year okay and the coastal areas of the continent receive moderate amount of rainfall that is 100 to 200 centimeters then after this the central part of the tropical lane and eastern and the interior part of the temperate lane receive rainfall varying between uh, 50 to 100 centimeters per year okay so this regime is known as areas of low rainfall the first one is areas of heavy rainfall next we have areas of moderate rainfall and the, the third one is areas of low rainfall okay here the amount of rainfall is between 50 to uh, 50 and 100 centimeters per year and what are the areas the central part of the tropical lane and eastern uh, interior uh, part of the temperate lane okay just uh, let us see here 
uh, actually temperate lane is uh, here okay and what are the other reasons central part of tropical lane central part of the uh, tropical lane tropical here this is the uh, okay here actually equator uh, this is 30 is here then 20 is here and equator is here okay equator is here and here this area is known as a uh, tropical area just you may see another diagram also here generally uh, from 23 half degree north to 23 half degree south is known as a tropical lane okay Tro toric zone and uh, this uh, interior part of tropical lane receive uh, this low, uh, low rainfall okay see here and even uh, these areas also and we may refer to another uh, map here okay and here also see it is around uh, 50 25 this is the middle latitude one okay here interior part of temperate land interior part temperate land means uh, this between 23 half degree north and uh, the 60 half degree north and 23 half degree south and uh, 66 half degree south so these are known as uh, temperate regions okay and in these areas also we find a low rainfall and other areas of uh, re other areas receiving uh, this low rainfall are the rain shadow zone of the uh, mountains okay uh, and the areas in the rain shadow zone of the interior of the continents high latitude receive very uh, low rainfall less than 50 centimeters per year so the fourth regime is areas receiving very low rainfall here the amount of rainfall is less than 50 centimeters so these are the rain so the areas of the uh, mountains and high latitudes okay high latitudes here actually here beyond uh, 60 okay here in this area actually high latitudes uh, actually this area beyond 60 or 66 so these are high latitude because the values of the latitudes are big and that is why we call high latitudes and uh, if, we, if we see uh, here also okay here let us say here uh, 15 is here and 30 uh, 60 is somewhere here and here beyond this the amount of rainfall is again low and here also the amount of rainfall is low here in this area we receive only about 10 centimeters in a year and here northern part of Eurasia okay uh, only 25 centimeters in a year so these are the areas receiving very low rainfall okay and seasonal distribution rainfall provide an important aspect to uh, just its effectiveness actually about the seasonal distribution of rainfall i also have given you uh, some examples say for example india then southeast southeast asian countries receive heavy amount of rainfall from the monsoon winds in summer okay and uh, this uh, as i told you mediterranean region mediterranean region is here just let us see any map okay so here this is the mediterranean region and this sea is known as the mediterranean sea so this region surrounding the mediterranean sea is known as mediterranean region and these areas receive a uh, rainfall mainly in the uh, winter season so in this way we find seasonal differences in the rainfall also similarly you you may find uh, such type of climate even in the uac also okay western part of uh, this north america also you may find some areas where mediterranean type of climate is uh, found okay 
So any uh, question from your side? Actually, we don't find the exact map. Okay, whatever mentioned in the book. So here, uh, the regime is somewhat different. Okay, but we may use as a reference. I uh, see here up to here. From here up to here is known as areas of, according to our book, areas of very low rainfall. This is this one and this one. These two sets. These two sets represent areas of uh, this uh, very low rainfall. Okay, then next we have 50 to 100. Okay, and then say next to, we may say these two. We may say areas of low rainfall. Then we may assume this one areas of moderate. And uh, so this is the areas of heavy rainfall. And accordingly, you may analyze. See the color for C. So this is the northern part of Africa. And here we have a desert. What is the name of desert? Sahara Desert. Okay. And likewise, here also we have Gobi Desert, a cold desert okay and here also we have uh, this uh, kalahari desert also here atacama desert is here that is why we have low rainfall and this is also desert areas okay and here also arizona okay uh, desert areas so in this way you may see the uh, index and analyze it okay So any question from your side? No, sir. Uh, okay, then uh, let us stop here for today. Thank you very much uh, for joining my class. Don't forget to send your name in the 